But today we're going to play some lovely tunes in the key of G. And maybe some other tunes too. And if you have any uh, uh, tune requests, uh, feel free to ask. And if I know them, hey, you have one, Mark? You have to unmute yourself if you want if you want to speak, though. I can't do that for you. All right. Well, let's let's well, get saying hi to Christy. Oh yeah. Hey, let's have a big hand of applause for Christy for facilitating this whole thing. Yay! Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Mark. Hi, everyone. All right. Let's play. Um, Let's play Bull of the Woods. That's a beautiful tune uh, that I learned from the playing of James Bryant, and it comes from Paisley Hapgood, I believe. <laughs> Thank you. 
such a pretty tune. It's funny what a bull of the woods, it doesn't sound like that at all. You know, you kind of expect uh, something more uh, bullish, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said before, if anybody has any um, requests, feel free to unmute yourself and um, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just uh, play some of my favorites. Um, let's play Double File. Yes. This is a tune that comes from Gaither Carlton. Doc Watson's father-in-law, and um, when I first learned it, I learned it in A, but then I realized someone else told me I didn't figure it out myself. Is actually uh, it goes real good in G, so we'll play it. We'll play it. And I think this is how Gaither Carlton played it too. I thought that he was playing in cross, but then somebody told me he never played in cross, so. Take care of that. Voila. All right. Yeah, this is kind of a short little tune, but it's, it's a good one. Thank you. 
see. Sheila Stone wants to know if you play Pear Tree. Yes, let's do that. That's another one from Gator Carlton. Yeah, let's play. I'll play all the ones. I know just a few of his, but I think many of or most of them are in G. So yeah, Patteroller and the Pear Tree. <laughs> And uh, I know a lot of people call this just pear tree, but the real name is Patteroller in the pear tree. And the Patteroller was the hillbilly way of saying patroller. And he was basically the slave catcher. He was the guy who was up in the pear tree, keeping his eye out to make sure that uh, the slaves didn't escape. And um, I know that none of us like to think about the slavery days, but I think it's important to um, to acknowledge what actually happened. So uh, we can call it pear tree or patteroller on the pear tree, and it's a good tune either way. Good tune, lousy subject. Let's see. Thank you. 
is such a pretty tune. That is a beauty. Hey, um, you want to play Tucker's Barn? Yes. This is see. kind of a squirrely tune, but it's a really a good one. Uh, it, it starts off and like you think it's in D, but it ends up in G. And it's another one from Gaither Carlton, which is why I thought about it. Uh, let's see if I can pull this one out. Let's see. <laughs> It's pretty, pretty strange. Let's play something more, uh, more reasonable. <laughs> um, let's see. How about you want to play Walling Wivo? Yes. Yeah, this one's a little bit. Roaring River. That's uh, right. I always yep. had trouble with my R's. And uh, isn't there a funny chord in this that you might yeah, want to yeah, point out? Yeah, right. There's a, there's a little two chord. Uh, Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like a little A chord that comes in there. And it, it, it'll still be okay if you don't play it, but it's pretty nice.
was a not a much, it wasn't really roaring. It was a kind of like a little dried up little creek kind of meandering river. <laughs> Hi, Shell. Nice to see you. I was just thinking about playing the Bonnie Blue Flag. Oh, do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Yeah, that's that's a I probably that one probably needs a new name for sure, but maybe we'll, I don't know what to call it, but it's a it's a it's a tune that we learned from um, Hoyt Ming and his Pep Steppers. Can I have your E? So if any of you like to do the little step dancing while you're playing, this is oh, the sorry. perfect tune. any more uh, requests I'm happy to happy to play them if I know them um, but I, I I got plenty let's see what do I have on my list here let's 
You know what I want to play? No, I want to play the. You want to play the. Oh, Buddy Thomas. Let's see now. All the. Occasion tune. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, oh, I see you're. Oh, I see you're writing down the tunes. Okay, great. How about a Cajun tune? That's a cool idea. Let's play. Let's play. Um, is if people up for that? You want to try and play something Cajun? Okay. Let's play. Um, let's play. Let's play a waltz and let's play. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is the Louisiana Walls, right? This is Louisiana Walls. Right, this is, and you know, you can imagine there's probably like about a million different waltzes called the Louisiana Waltz, especially in Cajun country, but <clears throat> this one comes from the great uh, Harry Schotz, and um, it, the chords are, it yeah. has a really cool chord yeah. uh, thing, so, so I'll just show you. So them we're in the key is. of G, but we're going to start on the four chord. Da, da. Then down to a two chord, up to a five, and then back to finally get to the one. So, yeah. So that's uh, four, uh, you know, C A D G, or four, two, five, one. Sorry, I know Hi. this. I know this isn't that much fun for the banjo, but. <clears throat> Of all the Cajun world music in the world, this is the this is the right one for banjo because there actually is banjo on some of those old Harry Schultz records. Uh, and then the way I play it, and I can't remember if he does this or not, but the way I play it, sometimes I throw in another uh, part that's just mostly a, a G chord and a D chord, a one and a five. You'll know <clears throat> when you hear it. Yeah, it's the <laughs> universal second part. Yeah, yeah, with a lot of these Cajun tunes... Um, I have a sort of a, <clears throat> like there's, there's probably like five times as many first parts as there is, you know, there's only about four B parts and about a hundred million A parts. Anyway, well, let's try this.
fun. That's fun. Yeah. And um, let's see. Let's play. Uh, let's play. Um, let's kind of switch gears here and play a Doc Roberts tune, uh, The Drunken Man's Dream. That's a nice one. Kind of swingy. Sorry, I got to tune a little bit. earlier if anybody has any more suggestions just unmute yourself and uh, if I can play them I will you want to try that um, Brickyard Joe just 
sure. just kind of a notey tune, but it's a good one. Does anyone here know it? Does anyone know Brickyard Joe? It's another Doc Roberts. It's another Doc Roberts. Yeah, some of you do. Let's let's give it a try. Not too. We'll try and uh, not play it too fast because it does have a lot of. Uh, it's kind of notey, but it's a great one. So let's see if we can do it. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe like a, let's see if we, that'll work. a noty tune. <laughs> Love it. Uh, let's see. You guys aren't coming up with suggestions. Susie, I Holly, put the kettle on. Or do, do you know any Carter Brothers and Son tunes? Yeah, let's see. Um, oh, what's the one that I'm thinking of? Oh. Uh, you know the one I mean. Oh. <laughs> but I, but I, the one I'm thinking of is. Uh... Uh, 
Um, I think that's uh, an A tune. Yeah, I'm thinking of an A tune, but but we could play Polly Put the Kettle On. Are you thinking of the Marcus Martin one or the other one? I'm pretty sure the Marcus Martin one. Well, the, the Marcus... Right, there's two different ones. Oh. Yeah, there is a... <laughs> lots more too but th that's one of the ones that's the first one I learned that's actually one that I didn't know <laughs> but that's okay and it's nice I like it yeah is, Martin. is is that from Marcus Martin yeah no, no. okay I, I I learned it from a guy named Hawk Hubbard a long 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 time ago here around here and I think it might be from oh, what's that guy you know uncle uh uncle uh Oh, uh, 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 um, um, it's Donna Ray Norton's uncle. Ray, Ray. Fired Ray. Fired Ray. Fired Ray. Ray. Yeah. I think, I think he is the source of that, but I'm not really sure. Maybe somebody here might know the answer to that, but yeah. do you know, what do you know, prankster. Shell? Do you know, Shell? Who, where that comes from? No, I don't. Sorry. Yeah. Well, anyway. Bard Ray plays one that's pretty similar. Yeah, it might it, it might really come from it might really come from Hawk Hubbard. He might have you know kind of taken the Bard Ray one and and uh, you know made his own way of playing it. 
Let's see. Yeah. Is that it? What is it? What could you say there? That's probably put the kettle on. Let's play that. Is it in that key? I guess it is. Well, we're going to play it. Let's play it in G. I think it's really in D, but let's play it in G anyway. For some reason, I thought it was in you know. C, but I could be wrong. Really? I don't think it's in yeah, C. Anyway. Well. No. Let's try it in G. Let's uh, let's see. I thought of another one. We were playing that one. Oh yeah. You guys, uh, while we're while we're um, while we're visiting the old chestnuts, you all want to play? Uh, how about we play Uncle Bunt Stevens' "Sail Away, Ladies"? I bet everybody here knows that one. That's a beauty. Oh boy, let's see. Hmm? Boy, what am I gonna play chords-wise? Well, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Are you thinking about the B part, right? I think. Just do it. I'll, I'll do something. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to play either, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Let's, let's play it a little bit. Let's play it a little faster than that. Is that okay? A little faster? Okay. pretty dissonant to you. You good. know what, I think I'm going to go on the, I'm going to try and play that B part the Uncle Bun Stevens way, not the Uncle Dave Macon way. Uh, right. Thank you. 
So I think we'll play one more and uh, call it a day here. And so let's let's end with a let's end with a waltz and let's play. Don't you remember the time? Because that is a when I sing that song these days, it just has a lot of a lot of meaning to me, and it just makes me like remember the time when things were quote unquote normal. But I don't know. I don't know if we're going to see that again. But but we're going to sing about it anyway. And uh, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. And special thanks to Christy for making it all happen here. And please go to BerkeleyOldTimeMusic.org and check out all the stuff that's happening. I know there's going to be for those of you who can't make it to who can't make it to um, Berkeley in a couple of weeks. There is going to be a bunch of stuff online and including a super cool jam like this one, but with Eddie Bond. And that's sure to be fun. That's going to be on Saturday night. And all the information is on the BOTMC uh, website. The, the online things are not likely to change, but the rest of it, man, it's like every day there's a new curveball. So I'm just hoping it doesn't have to all be online in the end, but I don't think so. Uh, anyway, we can but hope. And anyway, thanks for joining us. And let's let's play. Don't you remember the time? Uh, Susie, can I give one announcement real quick? Sure. Okay. Um, starting in October, the Slow Jam Fizz will meet twice monthly. Uh, we'll continue to meet on the second Friday. Plus, we'll begin also meeting on the fourth Friday of the month. Uh, and we'll be moving to a slightly later time slot. We'll be beginning at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. And our next Slow Jam Fizz is on October 8th with the amazing Canote brothers, Greg and Jer. So I hope everyone can join us then. Thank you, Susie and Eric. Thank you, You're Christy. You're welcome. Here we go. Let's play Don't You Remember the Time. <laughs> Oh,
and come be my turtle dove. We were so happy for we were in love. Don't you remember the time? One more time. Thanks so much for joining us.